Good afternoon, South Florida. I'm Christy Krueger. Here's a look at the stories making news today. Governor Ron DeSantis in, involved in a car accident this morning in Tennessee, but he's not hurt. The governor and presidential hopeful was on the way to an event in a four vehicle motor, motorcade when traffic slowed down and those four vehicles hit one another. His spokesperson says the governor was not hurt in that crash. One staff member did have a minor injury. DeSantis did continue on to the event and is expected to hold other events around Tennessee later on today. Meantime, Miami-Dade Police Director Freddie Ramirez remaining in a Tampa hospital today following an attempted suicide. Uh, authorities say Ramirez shot himself in the head on the side of I-75 on Sunday. Sources tell us he was seen arguing with his wife outside of the JW Marriott Hotel during a sheriff's conference there. At one point, he reportedly put a gun in his mouth, prompting a witness to call 911. Tampa police did speak to the couple, but say both Ramirez and his wife denied the allegations and expressed no concern for their safety. It was as they were driving back down to South Florida that the director pulled over and shot himself. He was rushed to Tampa General, where he underwent several surgeries. He is expected to survive. Tyreek Hill reaching a settlement over a dockside dispute last month. The Dolphins wide receiver accused of hitting a man at the Hallover Marina on Father's Day. Now attorneys for Hill and the employee both releasing a joint statement saying the two parties, quote, resolve their differences. No charges have been filed in that case and the NFL is still conducting its own investigation. It could bring its own discipline as well, depending on what they find. And new details on a massive police response near the wharf on Sunday night. Multiple agencies swarming that area after they got a call about a possible armed robbery on a yacht with Migos rapper Cuevo aboard. The owner did not want to go on camera but did tell us a group of 13 to 17 people chartered his yacht but got into a disagreement over the rental time. He says two of the passengers held the captain at gunpoint and took back the money. Several people, including Cuevo, were questioned. They denied the allegations and police did find two guns on the yacht but say they were not used in the incident. Because of the conflicting accounts of both parties had, no arrests were made. As breaking news happens, we have you covered both on air and online. Head to local10.com for more local news coverage and updates all day long. Have a great day.